Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is so summery and bright outside. We're having a heat wave, so I feel like it's really summer now. And I wanted to share with you my June favorites because I haven't done monthly favorites in a while. I know I did a spring, like summer, or like favorites of the moment video, but haven't done actual monthly favorites in ages. And they're so mishmash, like they're so all over the place. They're not all beauty, but Technically, they kind of are. Number one, which I didn't actually purchase in June, but I've kind of just like revisited it because I got it actually in February when we went to Disney World. So this was back in February, but I haven't really been using it properly until now, or a lot until now. So this is Prada Candy and it's the Eau de Parfum that I got. It is everything I love about a perfume. It's sweet, it's just like candy and that's really all there is to it. That's all I want from a perfume. I just want sweet, florally, kind of a little bit fruity, and just something that you smell and it, it smells like a cake. That's basically how I want to smell. Next thing is a lip gloss, and I have it on right now. I got this fairly recently. This is from MAC, and it's their Cream Sheen Glass in On The Scene. So it's a nude, basically. But I wear this with Honey Love, MAC's Honey Love lipstick which is a matte lipstick. So when you wear it with a gloss, it really just like glosses up your lips. I don't know how to explain it any better, but I think, I feel like sometimes with the matte lipsticks, I love them, but they can make your lips look a little bit dead. So the gloss just kind of like plumps them up and brightens them a little bit more. And then the other thing that I carry in my bag as well is this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I know I've talked about it in lots of videos before, but I had recently stopped, or not that recently, I had stopped using it and I had bought one from Estee Lauder because it was just there. I was getting foundation and I decided to get their translucent powder. Mm -mm, don't buy it. I like this one better and this is a lot cheaper. So I just kind of realized that my face was looking a little bit oily and my, my skin type is oily and it hadn't been before with that foundation, so I figured it was actually not the foundation, it was the powder that I was using, and it was. And I went back to using this, which you can pick up in like your local supermarket, like I get it in Morrison's. <laughs> so this is Rimmel Stay Matte, like I said, really cheap. I get it in the color number one, transparent. Another thing that you want to kind of keep looking good in the summertime are your feet because you're obviously wearing more sandals, flip-flops, that kind of thing. So I bought something to kind of help me with dry heels because I get really dry heels and it like kills me, it really annoys me because I just think they're gross to look at. I don't really like feet anyway, but yeah, that just doesn't, oh, I don't like that. So what I've been using is I got this at my like nail salon that I go to every like two weeks and I don't get my feet done every two weeks but um, I just get my the gel mani. I love this color it's so cool um, so I got cucumber the CND cucumber heel therapy and it's an intense treatment so you only need like a tiny tiny bit of this but I just use a teeny bit of this on my feet at night time after using this which I also purchased at the salon this is oh it doesn't actually have a brand on it Okay, <laughs> it doesn't have a brand on it, but this is um, basically like a foot file and it's got a medium side and a coarse side So you just use it to you know instead of a pumice stone to like and I like the handle That's what makes it easy because you can like get all the different angles, especially if you're pregnant. That's good um, I remember that was so difficult it was like looking after my feet when I was pregnant <laughs> Basically scrub my feet with this probably like every week or so and then I apply some of this and then this is not specifically for me but more so for the kids um, but I have been getting a lot of questions about what I use like what products I use on the kids and like you know for bath time and stuff like that so I thought I'd answer it here in a favorites video um, I actually use Burt's Bees Baby Bee range I really like the smell um, I think that it's really good quality products and also they've never had a reaction I mean Emilia has got more sensitive skin than Eduardo does but neither of them have ever had a reaction from these so they're really gentle and I just really really like them they're like natural products so I use everything I use their uh, tear free bubble bath which I obviously put in their in their bath and then I also use their shampoo and wash 
for shampooing their hair. And then after the bath, I use their lotion. You can get a nappy cream as well, which I really like. Um, and you can get one that comes in a tub. That's not as good. I prefer like the more intense kind of nappy cream, which just basically looks like a smaller version of this. Jonathan last night covered Amelia in the nappy cream instead of this. So don't do that. <laughs> I was not impressed, okay? This stuff smells amazing. I love how they smell afterwards. I feel like it's kind of, um, I think it's the honey. I think they smell like honey afterwards, which would make sense because of the bees. This is not a beauty product at all. <laughs> I suppose it probably could be. You could use it as a mask or something, maybe. I don't know. But this is a food product. But, I mean, beauty comes from, like, within and what you put in your body so it kind of technically is a beauty product if you think about it because it could make your skin glow so this is quark and i found out about this through lucy my personal trainer who's also a nutritionist i'm really crap at diets like i just can't stick to them at all um, but i take like tips from her like here and there you know um, when it comes to nutrition so one of the things that she had mentioned was quark and i remember this from like my mom i think used to either buy it or else my granny did, I'm not sure. I think it's a German thing. Maybe correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like it sounds German. <laughs> and I feel like I ate it in Germany when I was with my granny because she used to have it in like on rye bread with jam on top or something like that. And yeah, that's how I like remember quark. But anyway, so I got into it through Lucy again and um, it's amazing. It's like a really, really low, like naturally low fat, or fat-free, yeah, naturally fat-free soft cheese. So you can use it in the place of Philadelphia cheese, like any kind of other, or cream, any other like unhealthy or like more fattening um, dairy ingredient you could use this for. I use it in pastas now instead of like Philadelphia cheese and um, the kids love it. You can pu put it with uh, cucumber sticks or like celery sticks as a snack, anything. It's just it's amazing. Last but not least, while we're on the topic of fitness, is something that, again, isn't specifically beauty related, but it kind of could be, so because it's about health. I have been getting into fitness more and just like exercising more and trying to tone up for summer and that kind of thing. And I bought my first pair of like proper Nike trainers, and I think I bought them back in, oh, I don't know, a couple of months back. But, but then once I had kind of got into it, for a while and I knew it was not going to go away, it wasn't just a phase I'm going through. Um, I invested a little bit more and I got some more trainers which I'm really excited about because I needed to have ones to like match different outfits. So um, a fitness gear can be fun actually, I've learned. So these are some of my new ones, they're pink and they are the 4.0 fly knit, if that means anything to anyone. <laughs> Um, but they are knitted. It's like this knitted material. It's so comfortable, like so comfy. And then I also got these because I love pink, you guys know. I mean, look what I'm wearing. <laughs> but I also like this color. I got it on my nails. So um, I wore these ones today with, oh gosh, they're really dirty. Sorry about that. <laughs> I wore these out today with my, um, like a turquoise top. And I just love them. These are, I think it says 5.0. I don't even know what the difference is, being completely honest with you guys. Yeah, it says um, Nike Free TR Fly Knit. So they've got like a little insert part inside, probably that's the difference. But they're like um, blue and like aqua kind of turquoise in there as well. And they make working out fun. Like if you make it fun for yourself and you're into fashion, like into, you know, beauty or style or whatever um, and you're getting into fitness it doesn't have to be boring and frumpy you can like have fun with it and it'll motivate you or I feel like it motivates me anyway to kind of exercise more and do better and get out more and um, actually go for my walks because I'm excited about what I'm gonna wear I know it sounds really shallow but it's so true so um, I hope you guys like this video those are my favorites for the month of June I'm looking forward to sharing with you what I get or what I find for the month of July. I'm actually really looking forward to July. It's like one of my favorite months um, and it's heating up now, which is really cool. So I hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.